Creating and editing models with SBWall is intuitive and easy. The project left panel is open by default when you create a new file or load an existing file. Here, you can enter or modify various project properties and information. The icons in the ribbon let you enter different scopes of the program. To create multiple grid lines at once, click the generate icon. Enter number of grid spaces times grid interval in the grid spacing box. You can also create grid lines at multiple intervals by separating the grid intervals by space. You can create plates using the plate scope. Rectangular, circular, or polygonal plate shapes are available. To draw a plate shape using the mouse, select the desired tool and click on the workspace to begin drawing. Move your mouse until the desired size is achieved and click again to finish. Grids can also be created one at a time. You can also use the tables in the left panel to edit grid coordinate, spacing, and labels. The Select Scope can be used to select and edit various items in your model. Objects in the Active Viewport can be edited using the tools available in the Left Panel Toolbar. These tools are also available in the right-click menu. Resizing plates is easy. Just drag the pick point at the center of the plate side. Openings can be created using the plate commands after you change the section type to openings. Let's create a door and this time use the dynamic input box to enter the data. To display a dynamic input box, simply start typing. After you are done entering the coordinates, press enter. Press enter once more. This time, type in the width and height for the rectangle and press enter to finish drawing. We can copy this door opening and modify it to create a window. Select the opening and click the duplicate command. Use the bottom left corner as the base point to copy and the point immediately above it as a base point to paste. You can also resize the plate by clicking on the pick points and typing in the desired offset value. Next, to move the window into place, use the move command. Select the base point for move and specify the required vertical translation. Copy this window once again for the floor above. We can mirror these three openings about the grid line B to create identical openings in the second bay. Next, hold down the control key and click on the two door openings and the plate to select the three together. To merge, click on the plates merge tool. Let us add some stiffeners. If you have already defined a stiffener type in the definitions dialog, simply select it from the label drop-down menu in the left panel. To create a stiffener, click on the start point, move your mouse the desired length and click on the end point. Besides solid stiffeners, SP wall also features null stiffeners. Null stiffeners are stiffeners without any properties. They only act as placeholders for linear loads and linear restraints and do not contribute to the model structurally. Adding both nodal and linear restraints can be done using the restraint scope. Select the desired restraint type from the left panel. You can then assign the restraint individually by clicking on each of the stiffeners or select a group of stiffeners to assign the restraint to all at once. The node scope allows you to add nodes. Nodes can be created one at a time or many at a time in linear and circular patterns. Using the load scope, you can assign point, uniform line, area, and linear area loads to the model. SBWall 10 allows users to add to existing loads or replace them completely. Uniform line loads can only be assigned to stiffeners and area loads can be assigned only to plates.
If you have already defined a load case in the definitions dialog, simply select it from the load case drop-down menu in the left panel. To define new load case, click on the define scope, then click on load cases to display load cases dialog box. Click new, enter the load case label, and select the type. Notice that if you click on OK without updating the service and ultimate load combinations, the program will show a message indicating that the load cases has been changed and the load combinations need to be verified. After updating the load combinations click OK to save the changes. Notice that the new defined load case is available in the load case drop-down menu in the left panel. SB Wall 10 also supports a multi-viewport environment. This makes it easy to view and compare two instances of the model together. To assign different area load values on a single wall, first, use the split command to split the wall into segments. Next, select the desired segment and change its area load value in the left panel. Any change in one viewport is reflected in the other. Various items in the model can be toggled on or off using the Display Options panel. You could also change the item scales and annotations. Any created model can be easily rendered in 3D to get a feel of the actual structure. Thank you for watching. Please visit StructurePoint.org for more information.